In this video, we are going to set up a Maven project. So, so as you know, Maven is a build automation tool used primarily for Java projects. Now, it addresses two aspects of building software. Number one, how software is built. Number two, it manages all the dependencies of the project. Now, what are these dependencies? Now, if you're a senior developer, right, whenever you start with a project, you figure out, okay, uh, what all dependencies I require in this project so that I more efficient okay so instead of writing the code from the scratch you look out for library and now since we are using rest assured to automate the api we are not writing everything from the scratch we are just consuming it so rest assured is definitely the dependency uh, for api testing okay from where i can download these dependencies right that's the next thing okay so you download the dependencies from uh, repositories now a repository in maven holds build artifacts and dependencies of varying types now there are two types of maven repositories local and remote because the local repository is a directory on the computer where maven runs it caches remote downloads and contains temporary build artifacts that you have not yet released now, this remote repositories refer to any other type of repositories accessed by a variety of protocols such as file protocol, HTTPS protocol, etc. Now, these repositories might be a truly remote repository set up by a third party to provide the artifacts for downloading. Other remote repositories may be internal repositories set up on a file or HTTP server within your company used to share private artifacts between development teams and for releases. So what is Maven's dependency library lookup sequences since we have local repos as well as remote repos and remote repos could further be either the Maven central repo or a third party repo. So guys, it's a three step process as you could see onto your screen. Step one is Maven searches in Maven local repository. If not found, goes to step two else exit. Step two is Maven searches in Maven central repository, which is the remote repository. And if not found there also, it goes to step three, else exit. And finally, Maven searches in any other remote repository mentioned under repositories element in your pom.xml file. If not found there, prompt error message, else exit. Now, one important tip before we move on. Now, it's great to consume those libraries, right? But what if while downloading you know you you end up corrupting those okay and then you encounter all weird kind of issues and you're struggling you know where things are wrong what have you done wrong okay so this is what i'm trying to explain in this tip there would be times when you have no clues why things are not working even after applying a lot of internet provider solutions well sometimes dependencies get corrupted because to interrupt the downloading of jars now guys the solution is very simple you got to rebuild local repository by deleting all corrupt jars from repository and fix missing or corrupt maven dependency problem now if you are working on so this is the location when you will find all the repositories so find the repository which is causing the problem and just delete it from there okay and then come back to your project and just compile it again okay now guys this and the next slide it talks about you know the steps that we have to follow to create the maven project so it's a four step process as you could see in step one we are creating a maven project then in the step two we are setting the test ng library for this project okay test ng we are going to use for writing the test cases okay then step number three is you have to set java se 10 as maven's java uh, compiler and step four is we have to add rest assured and test ng dependencies into our project okay all right so let's do it guys open eclipse in your workspace okay so you have to set the workspace and click on this launch button okay let's close this welcome screen we don't need that let's click on file click on new okay so you already see maven project in here okay or what you can also do is you can go to project and in here you type maven and then you see this option just click on this click on next just select this create a simple project click on next and now group id and artifact id these are two very important things so group id would be let's say um, the name of my company is qa box let's say dot com okay so i'm gonna say uh, com dot qa box let's test usually this is what you uh, find okay then artifact id you can you can give any name to it so we're gonna say rest 
assured demo this would be the name of your project okay and we we'll leave the other things as it is but in here you also see the version so whenever you see snapshot meaning that it is not complete it is still into development okay so we click on finish okay so our project is created this is a maven project you also see this pom.xml in here which means that everything is working okay now right click on this project click on build path and then you have to click on add library you have to select test ng click next click on finish then apply and close so we have set up the test ng library for our project step number three is as you could see maven out of the box uses java 1.5 version okay we have to work on java version 10 like i said okay so open pom.xml open this pom.xml and in here we have to add properties okay so in here i'm gonna specify my java version for this project okay and let me put in 10 in here okay and then i have to provide the maven compiler source and maven compiler target so let's do that maven dot compiler dot source and in here we are now going to refer to that variable which we created in here same way we have to do it for the target let's save this file okay do a right click onto our project go to this maven option and click on update project select your project click ok and this is now changed to version 10 great next step is we have to add the dependencies okay so you got to use the tag dependencies And between these opening and closing dependencies tag, you have to add in the dependencies. Now, guys, open the browser and open Maven Central Repository. In here, you have to search for those dependencies. The first one is rest assured. So let's search this. Click on this link. Okay, this is the one that we have to pick. Now in here, we'll see all the different options. Okay, which version you want to use. We're going to use the latest one. Let's click on that. And in here, as you could see, we also provided group ID, artifact ID. And there was a default version number as well. Okay, and in there we saw snapshot, but you don't see that in here because this is production ready. Okay, now just click and it would be copied to your clipboard. Okay, what about this scope, right? So yeah, I mean, this is very important element. So rest assured is used for testing. Okay, so but when you build your production application, would you like to send your test code as well in there? No, okay. So you test your application in pre-prod environment, QA environment, okay. And once you feel like, okay, yes, you can give sign off on this. Then you take out all the test related code and you just push the production code. Okay. So therefore, with the help of this scope tag, okay, any testing specific libraries would be ignored while building up your production application. Okay. That's the purpose of this tag. So I just copied this. I'm gonna paste it in here. Same way, guys, you got to do it for the test ng. And when you search test ng again, you will come in here. So you just click on this particular version okay just make sure that it is org.testng let's pick the latest one and here also you'd see this tag okay copy this come back and paste it in here now to format you can use the shortcut Control shift f guys the moment i'm gonna save it right in here you will see building workspace okay and then the maven dependencies folder would be added so i'm just saving it you see this and then the maven dependence is added in here you see rest assured is downloaded and you also see test ng somewhere let me find that in here okay and there are other dependencies as well which are being downloaded okay so 
maven takes care of this dependency matrix or dependency tree you just said that okay i want rest assured and test ng but rest assured might be dependent on many other libraries like hamcrest is there http client http core groovy okay so all these are being downloaded by maven okay all right guys so our project is ready dependencies are ready i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching